Welcome to Sharing Our Merriness Stories. I'm Patty Garrett. We have a special episode today honoring the upcoming beatification of Mother Adele de Bats de Tranquillion, the foundress of the Marianist Sisters. This episode is a recorded version of a short skit we did in Dayton, Ohio in January of 2017. This skit reenacts the relationship between Mother Adele and her best friend Jean Deshaies. Adele and Jean became friends as teenagers. They maintained their friendship until Adele's death in 1828. They bonded over their love of God and commitment to God's people. A remarkable aspect of their friendship is that their lives took very different paths. Adele started her own religious order, and Jean got married and had children. Even so, they remained close friends. Jean became a major supporter of the Daughters of Mary Immaculate, also known as the Marianist Sisters. The following is a short recreation of their friendship through letters. Although these are not actual letters of Adele and Jean, it captures the spirit of their special relationship. Adele is played by Daniel Widener, a NACMA staff member, and Jean is played by Sister Gabby Bebeau, our NACMA graduate assistant. I will narrate between letters to offer some background into what's taking place in their lives. Let's begin. February 1803, the beginning. Jean and Adele are teenagers. Dear Jean, How much more proof of a loving God do we need than the fact that we have met at our long-awaited confirmations? It seems fitting that I will only ever know you as your confirmation name, Jean, and not as your birth name, Marie Therese. Papa told me that he and your father have agreed that you should come visit me so we will have time to talk and pray. May I share with you what I have written to your dear sister, Agathe? God is the only principle of Christian friendship and the only lasting bond. If we love one another in God, for God, and in view of God, we will certainly love one another forever. I trust this will be the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Adele Shortly after their promised visit Dear Adele, I hope this visit will be the first of many. Please come and visit me at my house, too. It seems we each have two homes, and you have two sisters. It was so lovely to meet your family and everyone else who lives with you at the Chateau. I especially enjoyed meeting your tutor and spiritual director, Monsieur Ducourneau. Let's support each other in being faithful to living the rule of life that he has written for us. I believe we can help each other become closer to Jesus and live lives of faith and hope. Your friend, Jean. It's now 1804, around the time when Adele and Jean begin their association. This association consists of young women who pray for each other and encourage each other's growth in faith. The political situation in France is still turbulent, and the church continues to face persecution under Napoleon's regime. Dear Jean, can you believe that our friendship is blossoming to include so many other faithful friends? With the addition of your beautiful sisters, and our continued recruitment, we now have a little association that can support, love, and pray for each other. It is so important, my dear friend, for us to pray for each other, that we may have peaceful deaths despite these dangerous and dreadful times. We all know that one day our lives will be over, and together we can prepare ourselves to enter heaven. Your sister, Adele. One year later, a major shift occurs in their friendship. Dear Adele, thank you so much for your loving support of my marriage. I know you are worried 
that now that I'm married, you may be losing a friend and a collaborator. Although I cannot be as involved in our association as I was as a single woman, please know that I will always be your friend and I will always support you in doing God's work. Agath has assured me that she will become more involved in our association to fill in any gaps I may be leaving. Sincerely, Jean. Nine months later. Dear Jean, my prayers have been answered. You and the baby are well. Please accept my hugs to you and little Eugene. Agath and I continue to give thanks to God and promise to do all he asks of us. I have told our new director, Father Lerbeau, of the good news, and he adds his prayers. I will come see you soon, as I cannot wait to hug your little family in person. Your friend, Adele. Now it is November 14, 1812. Jean has four children. The oldest is seven, and the youngest is not quite two. Jean writes in her journal. I have lost the worthy spouse the Lord had given me. The sacrifice has been more painful than I could ever have imagined. He was 35, and I am 28. Out of concern for her friend, Adele writes John's sister, Agath. Dear Agath, how is our dear Jean? I am praying for her every minute. Let us prepare ourselves, for we shall take the same route sooner or later, at a moment when we least anticipate it. Jean's poor husband never dreamed that his hour of death would come so soon. The same thing could happen to us. Let us therefore be ready, for we know neither the day nor the hour. I will visit Jean as soon as possible to comfort her as she grieves. Sincerely, Adele. We now fast forward three years to 1815. Father Chaminade relies on Jean for the foundation of the sodality in Agen. Jean writes to Adele, as now Adele's father is near death. Dear Adele, please know your father is constantly in my prayers. Of course you are by his side to help him recover. As you requested, I met with dear Father Chaminade to learn more of his plans to begin a sodality here in Agen. He assured me, as I know he has assured you, that he has not forgotten your dream of beginning a religious order. Do not discourage, my dear Adele. The process is slow, and I know that your wonderful, vibrant vivacity can make being patient difficult. But take it from me, to whom God has given patience and abundance in the form of children. If God wills it, it will happen, all in God's time. Know of my prayers for you, Jean. 1816 Things are lining up for the foundation of the Marianist Sisters. Dear Jean, I am so happy to report that Father Chaminade is in agreement with you that we should rent the property you found in Agen to start our new religious congregation. I cannot thank you enough for your help in finding and securing the lease of this property. I cried tears of joy when I read Father Chaminade's recent letter in which he wrote, you will be daughters of Mary, and will appear so to the public. Our work continues, dear friend. Who would have thought, so many years ago, on the occasion of our confirmations, that God would lead us to where we are now? I am always encouraged by your sisterly guidance and by your prayers. May God bless you. Adele As the Daughters of Mary grow, Jean is the only lay person allowed in the convent. In 1822, Father Chaminade seeks counsel from Jean about purchasing another property for the sisters. Dear Adele, I continue to pray for your improved health. It saddens me to hear you are not feeling well 
and that so many of your dear sisters are perishing. Do not discourage. The Lord knows what these times of trials will do for you and your daughters, what strength and faith each of you will gain. Perhaps this will lift your spirits. At Father Shamanad's request, I have gone to Condom to see about purchasing the lovely Pieta shrine that Napoleon had burned down. And it looks like we can begin acquiring this property. God is so good. He carefully watches over your little foundation. Talk to you soon. Jean. Two years later, despite death and disease, they begin to expand outside of Agen. However, nothing could have prepared the sisters for the death of their foundress. On January 10, 1828, Adele was united with Jesus and Mary, whom she loved so dearly. Jean was at her bedside during her final hours. Jean writes to Adele's mother. Dear Mama de Bats, I was blessed to be with our dear Adele at the moment she died. Please know her small fears of death were eased through faith and prayer. She received all the prayers for the dying from Father Moran and Father Sayre. She took so much comfort from their presence. All of her sisters tried to be with her as they were able. She assured Mother Saint Vincent of her readiness to meet God by saying, God has given me so many graces. Help me to thank him. Her final words were, Hosanna to the son of David. Oh, how we will miss her. Even after Adele died, Jean continued to play a pivotal role in supporting the daughters of Mary as they expanded. Jean died in 1865. We can only assume that on that day she was reunited with her dear friend in heaven. The narrative of today's podcast was written by myself, Sister Gabby, and Danielle Widener. To read more about Adele and John's friendship, go to the podcast page on our website, nacmis.org. You will find an article written by Danielle that explores this friendship even more. Adele will be beatified on June 10th of this year. Check out website beatadele.com, B-E-A-T-A-D-E-L-E.com, to keep updated on any beatification news. Thank you for listening.